Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am Mega 400 and in this episode, uh, yeah, last time we learned that Lavos, uh, Isla knows who Al Lavos is, and, uh, according to this cutscene, Lavos is, uh, came from space. Lavos in space! Um, so yeah, Lavos is actually an alien, or an extraterrestrial, uh, being that came from, um, space and fell to Earth, uh, during this time period, uh, prehistoric era. Um... So yeah, and he's going to fall, yeah, La means fire and Vos means big, so the ancient uh, humans uh, were actually the ones who named the Lavos. And so yeah, he's going to fall on the Tyrannal Lair, so we have to get out of here on the Dactyls before uh, it crashes and blows up the, uh, the area and destroys us. Hurry, Lavos come soon. Alright, Dactyl. Gino, hurry. Not sure why Kino even got off at that point. I love what you do. Come, Azela, come. And I'll save that for later. Absolutely not. The powers that be have spoken. Isla, hurry. Azela, me not forget. The future. What about the future? We have no Well, thank you for the words of encouragement. That means a lot. Um, so bye, I guess. So yeah, Azela is killed, and that is what killed the Reptites. Uh... Which, it, you know, it's kind of like a play on what killed the dinosaurs, you know, supposedly the meteor hitting the Earth. Um, so yeah, uh, Lavos killed the Reptites, or most of them off. There might be a few, because the, the one guy, the, I think it was the green uh, jogger, he, or, no, that was the uh, GI jogger. The, the green ambler uh, from the fair, he's a Reptite, essentially. It's kind of silent. The not fall of Magnus as Lavos live. Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times. So yeah, Lavos again fell from the sky. He is an alien of sorts. Make a fight it? Yes, we fight it because otherwise it will destroy the world. So we're going to go back to the ruined Tyranna lair in hopes of finding Lavos before it buries into the earth so we can kill it. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll end the game right here. Though obviously we won't. I mean, it's only... You know, we still have quite a bit ways to go with the game. Uh, so as you see, he's gone, but there is another gate. Uh, so as you'll see, they'll say, you know, it's quite possible that Lavos has been creating these gates because uh, the one that we had that was at Megas's castle was really big, and that could most likely have been caused by Lavos. Uh, so we're gonna go in the gate, and uh, hopefully we'll, f you know, I don't know, find something. I mean, we've been to most of the time periods. I mean, how many more time periods? Well, there's quite a few, but like, you know, I'm not sure what we'll find in here. Maybe it's just another location we haven't been in, like one of the other time. Or wait, what? This place seems odd. I hear wind. It's strange. Where'd this mega? I, I always like Isla's talk because she she has such a wow. It's snowy out. Uh, so yeah, this is uh twelve uh thousand beasts or. 1200 BC. Uh, this is after uh, Lavos crashed to cr uh, create the Ice Age of sorts. Uh, but what is this thing? This looks kind of almost futuristic of sorts. Wow, wait. This place looks kind of odd and at the same time cool. So yeah, this is the last time period that, well, technically the last time period. Uh, this is um, the Age of Magic uh, and this is the Kingdom of Zeal. Uh, the Kingdom of Zeal is a magical place, uh, and I'm going to leave. I left in a bunch of these uh, comments from all the guy, uh, all the people in this area, because a lot of them are actually quite interesting to listen to, uh, and they're also kind of important to filling in some plot holes. Um, so yeah, this is the Kingdom of Zeal. Uh, there is, uh, is this part of a dream? So yeah, I like some of those comments, like some of them ask, like, what is fate, or some of that, and it's, it, they're interesting things that these guys say, but anyway, um, the Kingdom of Zeal is floating in the sky, uh, there, am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? See, like, that stuff, I really like those kind of things. Though, a play to, uh, bowling ball dreaming is a play of Sashmi, it's kind of odd, but whatever. Um, so yeah, some of these stuff I like, you know, I like some of the stuff that's in Zeal, and I love the music in Zeal. You know, this is always, uh, one of my favorite parts of the game, because you, you come here and you have this place you haven't been to at all. And it, it's nearing the end of the game, and you got all this interesting dialogue going on. Um, 
but yeah, basically, the Kingdom of Zeal is in the sky. Uh, there are these two. There's two different beings. We're only gonna see the magic people for now, but there's people on uh, the Earthbound ones who have no magic, and then there's the ones who have magic who put the uh, sh uh, who have a, live in the palace in the sky. And oh, the little kid. Hi, boy. How are you? What's wrong with him? What a weird kid. He's a sullen lad. I guess he's a mute. The Black Wind Howls, huh? What? What? One of us is gonna die? I hope it's Marley. Well, not really, but, um, that that sucks. I... That, that must be just... He must just be in garbage. No one's gonna die. No one dies in... In games, usually all the heroes live, so that's just... That's silly. Silly, kid. Um... But yeah, the ma Um... I'm... I'm I'm probably gonna have a little bit of rant when I get to a certain point, but yeah, basically, Zeal is, uh, this kingdom in the sky, uh, the magic, using the magic, put them in there, and I, th I don't know, I know some people talk about that, but basically, Lavos, uh, they, they used Lavos' abilities, um, to gain some magical power and raise this kingdom in the sky, and they used to rely on, um, uh, the power of the sun, but they've, uh, as you'll see in another city, they've sealed that away, and up there is where they sealed, uh, some weapons. Um, so yeah, Zeal, Zeal's basically, um, and th there's trouble in Zeal right now, because they're all, they're all relying on Lavos' power, but as we know, Lavos is, you know, not a good thing, he's a, um, evil entity. Um, but basically what you want to do here, is you want to open up, a uh, Water, Fire, or no, Water, Wind, and Fire books, in that order, and upon doing so, you will get a secret passageway. I really do like, I, and I like the imagery in Zeal, it's really pretty. Just overall nice imagery. It's always one of my favorite parts of the game. Um, you know, because you've been going through time the whole time, and this almost kind of ties it up, but at the end way, it kind of, it, at the same time, it kind of makes you question things as well. Um, you know, part of the reason, this, the, you know, the, the way the story is presented in this game is actually quite, you know, well done. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief. Okay. And here is a new, uh, this new is quite hard to beat because he makes six versions of himself. Now, the top, the bottom left, or the top middle, the bottom left, and the bottom right, uh, can do one damage to you. And then the top left, the top right, and the bottom middle, uh, can each do, um, each take your HP down to one. So, uh, with the combination of these guys, they can kill you, uh, which isn't good. And I did cut a bunch of this battle out because a lot of it was me reviving and attempting to continue to uh, kill them. But basically, what you want to do is you want to take out the, I'd say take out the the one, uh, one the ones that do one damage to you, or either one. You could take out the you know ones that do all your damage. You take out one group. You take out the top left, top right, and the bottom middle first, or the bottom left, bottom right, or top middle first. Because otherwise, uh, it, once you do that, you won't die in the battle. So the battle becomes really easy. Um, you could use some, uh, multi-text. Actually, probably what would be better would be using, like, um, uh, if you use the triple, ch uh, triple tech of, um, uh, triple raid. But the problem with that, though, is, you know, sometimes you don't have, you gotta act fast, because these guys will kill you if you're not careful. Um, and right there, I think I showed a new move. I think it was Blade Toss with, uh, Robo and Frog. It's just a powerful move that can do damage to multiple foes, I guess, depending on where you aim it. Um, but in the meantime, uh, since there's not much else to talk about, it's just, just, again, just be careful, try and take out a group of the, the whatever news, and then keep reviving. Uh, Kmon9911 asked me about, um, Pokemon the 5th generation, my thoughts on that. I've already talked about it a little bit, but, I don't know, it just feels like, you know, whenever something, is, the new Pokemon revealed, everyone's like, oh, these guys look ugly, or oh, I don't like them. And I, I agree, some of them don't look that great, and, you know, you know, a lot of people didn't like some of the Pokemon of the, um, um, the, uh, you know, fourth generation, but it almost feels like people automatically judge them as soon as they come out instead of, you know, maybe, you know, it just feels like people are really quick to judge. Um, and sometimes it probably wouldn't, it, it's a good idea sometimes to just reserve your judgment and wait until you see things. I mean, of course, I guess look is, you know, if you, if you don't like the look of it, you don't like the look of it, but... And again, like, I keep going back on the triple battles. A lot of people didn't like the triple, bat triple battles, but, um... I don't know, I think those might be interesting to have. Um, I like the fact that they have a female professor. I don't, I don't think it's going to ruin the series. I'm, I'm interested to see all the changes. I think uh, the, it might be a really, a really good game series. The thing with Pokemon right now is I think it's 
you know, basically been the same thing over and over, which has been good because they've had enough changes to make it fresh. But, you know, it'll be, it'll be nice to see um, even more changes to the series. Um, so I am interested in seeing what they, what direction they go with the game. Um, you know, I, I'm interested in seeing... Uh, I am disappointed. Supposedly, uh, unlike in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, you don't get to walk around with your Pokemon, which I really like that. I liked in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver that you get to walk around with them. That was really nice. Um, I think so far, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver are the best in the series. Um, so it will be interesting to see if um, Black and White top that at all. Um, and, and, and the legendaries kind of look kind of dull to me. They kind of look like, all legendaries lately have all looked kind of the same. That's about all the time I have. Next time we will uh, explore Kajar. This has been Mega Freak for Hunter reminding you that pie. I need to get off food. Pie is awesome.